Hello, this is Mr. Tybox123, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you an update on the Mac OS X Lion preview that's appeared on the Apple website very recently. So, we had a few details of what would be included in the summer release of Lion, but OS X Lion preview webpage on the Apple website has recently been updated with a whole bunch of new features that are going to be included in that release. So, let's just run through what they are and what they might do for us. So obviously we start with the Mac App Store. Anyone who's got the latest version of Snow Leopard is gonna already have that and have seen it. And essentially if you haven't seen that, it's just the App Store that you would see in iTunes but on your Mac OS X operating system and allows you to download applications and install them in exactly the same way you would with movies or music on iTunes. So Launchpad is another one that we were already fairly familiar with. And essentially what that is, is an iPad or iPhone type interface to your applications. So instead of having to go to a menu or go to your dock, they're going to be presented on your desktop and you'll be able to flick through those as you do on an iPad or an iPhone. So there will also be the facility for folders in exactly the same way that they're implemented on any iOS device at the moment. Moving on, we've also got the ability to do full screen apps so we've already seen this in some applications like iPhoto but there's obviously going to be a relatively large emphasis on developers to start producing full screen applications whether or not you like this or you think this is a good idea that remains to be seen me personally I like to have a whole multitude of things on my screen so full screen apps maybe aren't for me but there are certain applications where that would most definitely be of benefit like photo galleries for example so they're talking about making full screen applications built into the operating system for iPhoto which we've already got, for Mail, for iCalendar and also for the preview for previewing like PDFs and images etc. So the next one on the list is Mission Control and this basically gives you a complete overview of everything that's actually running on your desktop at any one time and you'll be able to you should see that all in one view and flick between those applications fairly easy and also reorganize those applications as well. There's going to be a whole bunch of new gestures and animations which are going to make it a lot nicer to navigate your way around the operating system. There's going to be a much more responsive swipe, pinch, scroll etc and it's going to make everything feel a lot more responsive and more lifelike and it'll be much easier to just swipe between applications for example. We're also going to have the facility for auto save so instead of having to constantly save your document it's actually going to do an auto save for you based on the fact that the application supports that API within the OS X Lion operating system. Linking into that we're going to have versions which is kind of like time machine but for your documents enabling you to see a complete timeline of the different variations and modifications that you've created in your document but again that's going to be reliant on the fact that the application supports that facility within Lion itself. Quite a cool feature that they're looking to bring in is one called Resume and that enables you to not worry about saving any of your documents or anything that you're actually doing at any one time and do a reboot. So for example if you get an update to the operating system and it requires you to do a reboot you don't have to worry about saving everything first or remembering the positions of the applications you'll just be able to shut down and it will take you straight back to where you left off but again that's going to be reliant on the applications supporting that facility within the operating system. One of the best things is that there's going to be an update to the mail application it's looking fairly dated now and this one's going to give you a much nicer interface to access your emails a much better preview and also give you a much better search facility for being able to navigate through previous emails that are in your archive. It's also going to introduce conversations into the mail application which is going to give you a much nicer way of reading a conversation within a collection of emails so that looks quite nice as well. There's also going to be a facility called AirDrop which is essentially like Dropbox but for wireless connections and essentially your finder application will search around the network, find out if anyone else is using AirDrop and then appear in the list 
and then you'll have the ability to drop any kind of file straight over onto that without any kind of configuration whatsoever. And once you have done that, it will actually add them into your address book and potentially have a profile image as well so you know who that person is and what machine they relate to. There's also going to be a vastly updated version of the Lion server and there's a whole bunch of things that are going to be included in that one of which is going to be a profile manager which is going to give you much better management over the operating system and the profile stroke environmental settings for not only your Lion operating system but for iPhone, iPad and iPod devices as well. There's also going to be file sharing for the iPad and a new version of the wiki server. So it's nice to be updated with a whole bunch of new things that are now going to be included in Lion over and above what we already knew. I hope that was of use to some of you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.